Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're interested in luxury vlogs, the latest fashion and beauty trends, then you are in the right place. In today's video, we're going to talk about uh, the Guerlain Pucci collaboration as well as uh, the Guerlain Holiday Collection. I'm going to talk about what are the products included in each of the collections, uh, what are the price differences, the packaging, uh, the formula of the actual products, as well as my final thoughts, whether I think those two collections are worth your money. And if you only have budget to pick up one of the collections, I will give you some of my recommendations in terms of which uh, item I would recommend from each of the collection. So if that's something that you're interested in, please make sure uh, that you continue watching. I also want to mention that I did my hair today using uh, the Dyson Air Straight. Uh, so I'm going to do a tutorial for you guys pretty soon to compare uh, the Dyson Air Straight versus some of their competitors as well as the Air Wrap. So if that's something that you're interested in, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. Let's start today's video by talking about the two collaborations uh, at a very high level. Berlan actually launched both collections right next to each other. Uh, the Pucci collection was launched a little bit earlier in the fall and the holiday collection was launched probably a month after that. From a pricing perspective, uh, the Pucci collection is generally more expensive than the holiday collection. The eyeshadow palettes are of the same price. They are priced at 125 Canadian dollars and I'm going to put the US dollars down below. And in terms of the meteorites, the Pucci collection is more expensive than the holiday collection. Same as the lipstick case. Now, in terms of the brushes that comes with the meteorites, there's no limited edition uh, brush for the holiday collection. Uh, and the Pucci one is a lot more expensive than the permanent collection, which I do not recommend. Uh, it does come with a Pucci marble print pouch, but it has a really weird tie closure, which I mentioned in my review video for this collection. So I wouldn't recommend it given how expensive it is. And both collections also introduced the bronzers, which I did not pick up because those two bronzers are basically uh, the same shade from the permanent collection with a little bit of different design on top in the form of a uh, overspray so once you use it for the first or second time those overspray will basically uh, be completely gone and so from a pricing perspective the holiday collection bronzer is priced at the same price point compared to the permanent collection uh, but it's in the shade number three so if that's the shade that you like I would recommend you to pick that one up but if not I would say go with the permanent collection the Pucci bronzer is a lot more expensive compared to the permanent collection, but it does come with this pouch. Uh, so if you like the pouch, I would recommend it. I would recommend you to check with your local store because in my local store, they offer me this pouch as gift with purchase with permanent collection blush and bronzers. So I would say if that's an option, then you don't have to pick up the limited edition bronzer. So obviously, I would say those two brands have very different uh, aesthetics as you can see from the design here. I think a lot of people are familiar with the Emilio Pucci brand which is a, a couture fashion brand uh, that's born in Italy and I covered this in one of my other videos uh, where I focus entirely on the Pucci collaboration and I did a makeup look in that video as well which I'm going to link down below. Pucci is known as the Prince of Prints and he quickly became very famous because how well he he can use prints uh, on clothing and accessories and make it look very elegant. And his uh, clients include a lot of very famous people such as Jackie Kennedy, Marilyn Monroe, uh, and most recently in the launch party of the Barbie movie, Robbie Margot also wore a Pucci dress in the premiere which shows uh, how famous this brand is among A-listers and celebrities. In the 60s, Pucci prints tends to take on more of a pastel palette. But in recent years, this brand started to adopt more contrasting color, uh, which you know is kind of more of a modern transformation of the marmal 
print. So this uh, design right here on the eyeshadow palette is actually not uh, specifically designed for Guerlain. Uh, if you look at the Pucci website, you will see that they actually have a lot of fashion items such as silk scarves or dresses uh, that are in the same pattern. So I think this Guerlain collection is intended to be used in complementary of the fashion accessories or uh, pieces that uh, the brand created. On the other hand, the holiday collection is a collaboration with a French jeweler, which uh, is not as well known as Pucci, but this brand actually gained fame in the celebrity circle given how well the artist is able to use color and Swarovski crystal to create very uh, unique jewelry pieces. So her client includes a lot of the A-listers as well, such as Jennifer Lopez. Uh, and she also styled um, characters in Gossip Girls and Carrie Bradshaw in Sex and City. So this makeup collection gives you an opportunity to have a taste of uh, the two brands and collect something that's created by them um, at a lower price point. Why don't we start by comparing the packaging and unboxing experience of the two eyeshadows. Uh, so as you can see here, the uh, packaging is almost identical. And the Pucci collection uh, is named Marmo Vibe and the color code is 045, whereas the holiday collection has the name of Regard Moy. Uh, I'm not sure if my pronunciation is correct here, but just bear with me. And the color code is 888. Both eyeshadow palettes come with this velvet pouch, which is quite standard as well. And the size of the two palettes are exactly identical. Everything is pretty much the, the same, um, except for the design at the front. So you have this Guerlain logo in the front, and at the back it shows the, uh, you know, the, the weight of the palette and the, um, the color code. So both eyeshadows have a shelf life of six months, which is really, really short. Made in friends, and uh, the weight is four times 1.6 gram. So basically each eyeshadow weighs 1.6 gram and there are four colors in each of the eyeshadows. Uh, from a packaging perspective, it really comes down to personal taste, which one you prefer. I would say both are very beautiful. If I have to pick one, I will go with the Pucci uh, palette just because uh, Pucci is a very renowned fashion brand and all of their items are not very accessible from a price point perspective. So I feel like this collaboration really gives us an opportunity to own a piece of Pucci without break breaking our bank. You may wonder if you didn't really dig the holiday packaging, uh, is it worth to pick it up given the products inside? So I'm going to show you guys the swatches that I've done in the store to help you decide whether you want to pick up this palette if you already own some of the permanent collection palettes. I first swatched the four shades within this holiday palette and then I compared the brown and the pink in this palette against the permanent collections. Starting with the pink, I first compared it against Metal Butterfly, which is less pigmented. And then I compared the pink against Mystic Rose. Overall, the holiday collection pink is more cool toned and pigmented. In terms of the brown, it is very similar to the one in Undressed Brown, but I would say the holiday collection brown is slightly more pigmented and cool toned. Now let's talk about the color story of the two eyeshadows. I would say the two of them are quite different in terms of uh, the eye look that you can create. Uh, I personally prefer the holiday color story, although I feel like um, it's less diverse compared to the Pucci collection. So with the holiday palette, you're going to create a look that's more uh, pinkish red, uh, which is quite generic in my opinion. Uh, you see a lot of those palettes being released by major brands. Whereas the Pucci collection is quite unique and I was actually shocked when I saw this color story the first time. It's just 
kind of an odd combination, I would say. Uh, but I think from a diversity perspective, you can create a lot of different looks with this palette. So for example, you can use the black, white, and purple to create a purple look. Uh, although this purple is quite patchy if you watch my review video um, and then this red color you can combine that with the black or the white to create more of a red look or if you just want a smoky look you can use the white and the black i wish that they introduced some shimmery shades in this eyeshadow palette to make it a little bit more usable compared to having four mattes that are very strong on their own now let's talk about the formula of the eyeshadows uh, in this palette. So I personally prefer the mix of different formulas of this holiday eyeshadow. So you've got two shimmery shades, the, the brown and the pink, they are both shimmery shades. And then these two colors, the light pink and uh, the red, they are matte shades. Whereas this palette has four matte shades that are very strong colors on their own. Uh, so it's very difficult, I would say, to create an everyday look. Now, I would say the colors in those two palettes are very different. Uh, the only color that I would see a little bit of similarity is this red shade. And I did a swatch for you guys to um, help you compare the two shades. The red color in the holiday palette is leaning more pink, whereas the uh, Pucci palette uh, is leaning more orange. If you want to take a look at how those uh, the color of the eyeshadow palettes perform on the lid, uh, you can check out my full review of the Pucci collection, which I'm going to link down below. Uh, I did a full makeup look using this palette and I used all four colors. For the holiday collection, I also created a look for you guys. So I basically started with the light pink color and I used that uh, all over my lid as a base. And then I went in with the darker red color to create some depth. And I would say both mattes are very blendable. They are very high quality formulas. After I used the two mattes, I used this uh, pink shimmery shade all over uh, the center of my lid uh, to uh, create a little bit of radiance on my eyelid. And then I used the brown in the center of my lid to highlight um, in contrast with the pink shimmery shade. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. I know a lot of people complain about uh, the red being uh, kind of too warm and it makes you look like you're sick or something. Um, but I would say if you just use a little bit of the color and dilute it, you can make it work. It's not my least favorite color story. It's also not my most favorite color story, but I would say I prefer this color story to the Pucci uh, palette. Moving on to the lipstick case. So again, the lipstick case came in a very standard packaging. Those two cases, they have the same sort of a light champagne gold color at the back, which says Girl in Paris, very generic. The uh, holiday collection has the design of a lipstick in rhinestone. And again, as mentioned in my Pucci video that Guerlain recently changed the case design. So all of your old refills, unfortunately, would not fit into this case. Between the two, I would pick the holiday collection lipstick case because how beautiful it is. And it's also at a cheaper price point compared to the uh, Pucci collection. This lipstick case is a little bit more expensive than the permanent collection though. So I have to point that out. And I did notice when I went into the store that there is another uh, lipstick case also made with rhinestone, which I think is equally beautiful. If you don't really like this lipstick design, I would recommend you to go with the other one. I personally actually prefer the permanent collection one with the white rhinestone all over compared to this one. But I still pick up this one because I wanted to do this review for you guys. The reason why I really like that one is because if you look close up, you can really notice the attention to detail of Guerlain. The rhinestones are of different sizes on that lipstick case, whereas this one, the rhinestone are all, uh, you know, with the same size. I do like the lipstick design. I think it's cute, but I feel like somehow with rhinestones all of the same size, um, 
it just doesn't look as lively compared to the other one and when the when the rhinestone bounce of light off the the other case i just feel like it's a lot prettier so i would say if you don't really uh, enjoy this particular design i would recommend you to go with the permanent collection which is cheaper uh but has a very similar sparkly vibe that's perfect for the festive season the refills that i picked up uh they are not from the permanent collection this poochie one that i have i believe is 980 uh, it's like a orange red color i didn't really like the limited edition refill that's part of the Pucci collection i understand that they wanted a purplish lipstick to go with the purple eye look but i feel like personally that color is a little bit too dark for me and i feel like i'm not going to get a lot of wear out of it which is why i picked a more standard red color which i think i'm going to use a lot more and the lipstick color that i'm wearing today is the one that i picked up with this holiday collection which i believe is 360 it's it's a beautiful kind of light rose color uh, which I think is perfect for every day and the formula is so comfortable on the lips even though it has a matte finish so I really really enjoy that and I may go back to pick up a few more colors if you're interested in the limited edition holiday lipstick shades I did swatches for you guys as well in the store there are four limited edition shades in total that's part of this holiday collection uh, and I think they are beautiful colors, especially uh, the red one. Uh, I was really tempted to pick it up, but I feel like it's a little bit close to what I picked up earlier, uh, so I didn't pick that one up. Now, moving on to the setting powder, uh, which I think if you like packaging is something that you should pick up out of anything else in this collection because when you're done with those pearls, you can repurpose the container into a jewelry box which is why every time when they release a uh, design that i really enjoyed i would always get the uh, meteorite powder because i know that after i'm done with the powder uh, i'm able to kind of use them as display on my vanity or even as you know like a q-tip container uh, in my bathroom so they are my favorite collector's items again from a packaging and unboxing perspective the meteorites have the same packaging compared to the holiday collection uh, the shades uh, I would say from the Pucci collection I believe that's the same as the permanent collection uh, which is number two whereas the uh, holiday collection is a unique shade that they created with which has more of a lavender type of shift compared to what we have seen in the past similar to other items in this collection the meteorites have the same size container the only difference is the design uh, that's uh, kind of on top and the surrounding uh, box so the uh, Pucci collection has the Pucci marmal design all over the box whereas this holiday collection only has some rhinestones on top which I think is beautiful and inside when you open up the lid Pucci collection says Guerlain Pucci in uh, kind of a black ribbon with a uh, hot pink print whereas the holiday collection has more of a silky ribbon in navy blue with gold Guerlain logo but these are minor details in my opinion so if you look inside actually I think the Pucci collection has a little bit more product than the holiday collection and the Pucci collection is basically color number two from the permanent collection uh, and it has more of a pastel type of uh, color palette whereas the holiday collection uh, is missing the green and the uh, it's missing the green has more gold pearls uh, and it has a little bit more pink pearls but I would say there's not a significant difference I wouldn't buy this uh, just because of the uh, limited shade. I would only buy this uh, meteorite if you are into the packaging design, which I am. Uh, so for me, I think I can justify this purchase. But if you don't really like the holiday design, then I would say you don't have to get this 
uh, limited edition meteorite. If I have to pick one between the two, I think I'm gonna go with the Pucci one, uh, just because I like how uh, the marble print went all over the box, whereas this one, you only have the special design on top. Let me quickly help you by comparing uh, the holiday collection versus the summer collection, which I also purchased. And again, if I have to pick one, I will pick the summer collection because I like it how the design is very consistent throughout, whereas the holiday collection only has the rhinestone on top. Uh, and also, I wanted to show you the comparison against the permanent collection, which is basically a silver tin with a pink, pinkish, purple flower on top. Uh, between the two of them, I would say I prefer the holiday collection just because it's a little bit more unique, uh, but it is at a higher price point as well. So just from the collaboration perspective, uh, I would say both collections are very worth it. I will recommend that you pick up at least one or two pieces, given the fact that the standalone brands uh, cost a lot more than the makeup collections that we're talking about today. So for example, Pucci, uh, because they operate in the haute couture type of market segment, uh, their price ranges are very, very high. Uh, so a silk scarf can cost around 500 US dollars, which is one of their cheapest items. And a Pucci dress can cost around, you know, two to 3,000 US dollars, which is very pricey. So uh, if that's outside of your budget, I would say this makeup collection gives you an opportunity to have a taste of uh, the two brands and collect something that's created by them um, at a lower price point. From a color story perspective, I would say I actually prefer the holiday collection. I feel like there's more opportunities for you to use this palette compared to the Pucci palette, which has a very editorial type of uh, color story that's not very <laughs> everyday friendly. And also the performance of some of the shadow uh, in the Pucci palette is not the best. So at this price point, I don't think this is a very good eyeshadow and given the fact that the packaging is not refillable so i would say overall i will recommend the holiday eyeshadow over the Pucci one given the performance of the eyeshadow uh, and the diversity of the formula that's included in this palette so that's all for today i hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please leave a comment down below and i will try my best to answer your questions. Uh, again, I have a few more uh, holiday beauty related topics coming up. I'm going to show you all the freebies that I received from Dior Beauty this year, as well as uh, the best gift sets by value. Uh, so if that's something that you're interested in, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out.